Thank you, Astrid. More weather details coming up, plus more news and sports at 8.30. Time now to check in with Adam Swatsky. Uh, it is 8.07. Seeing as the weather is going to be good, perhaps you could get outside and paint your house. And we have the experts in talking about trends, uh, tips you need to know. Joining us this morning, uh, Scarlett Ballantyne is from uh, Benjamin Morris. That's right. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I, I guess the, the first thing you need to do if you're going to be painting houses, you have to decide on the color, right? Deciding on the color is number one, and that's what people are most interested in asking me all the time, is what color should I paint my exterior? Because you're an interior designer as well, I right? am. Okay, I so am you, an interior designer. You, you know what's going on. Yes. Are, are there any trends right now? What are we looking at? I would say people are going towards uh, more mid-tone colors, darker colors for the body of their house. Um, a few years ago we saw more light colors, but okay. now people are more interested in the darker look, um, sometimes the heritage colors as Speaking well. Speaking of heritage, a uh, beautiful brochure that's uh, right here that we can probably take a look at, some of the heritage colors. We see a lot of homes like this in, in parts of Victoria. Yes, or and on this, the island. this card was developed in partnership with uh, the Vancouver Heritage Foundation. So these are colors that were found on heritage homes in the Lower Mainland, and we documented them because we didn't have any colors in our system that were quite like this. So we custom tinted all these, and now we have a color card and we're selling them. Could you do colors like this on a more modern house, or does it look a bit odd? Absolutely. You know, they are colors that were found on heritage homes, but, you know, they work well on any exterior, depending on placement. Uh, so I look at something like this, and I've decided I want to paint my house, <laughs> and I'm looking at the colors. This is a little bit intimidating for me. It can be intimidating. You know, I think it's important to take a stroll around your neighborhood, find out what other colors uh, are happening in your neighborhood, because you want your house to work in with everyone but else. how do you make it unique, though, right? Well, the important thing is when you choose your colors, don't tell everyone. It's kind of like picking your baby's okay. name. You don't want to tell everybody because they'll take your colors. So. You need to kind of bounce it off some people, though, right? Absolutely. So have a select group yeah, of trusted people? The trusted people. <laughs> trusted people is very important. So what would be the, the steps to make it unique? Do you want it brighter? Do you just want it different? Do you want I to think, stay in the same range of I think colors? your front entry area yeah. is the area where you can really do something different. Okay. Your front door color. Oftentimes, uh, we refer to the front door, your front entry, as the smile of your home. Okay. So if you do your front door in a punch color, that can make it really stand out. But, you know, choosing um, an import, uh, interesting trim color, um, choosing three colors, that can make your home really unique. Okay, so you've chosen your color, you found something unique, you got the punch, the smile there, you then need to have your products, right? Yes. I know about the masking tape, that's good. Yes, and using the right products is really important. If you have Alkid already on your exterior, mm -hmm. you have to use Alkid. Now, okay. you can find out if it is Alkid by using um, nail polish remover and just rubbing it on the surface. Right. And if it's sticky, then it's alkyd. If okay. it comes off, then it's latex. Okay. So latex over latex, oil over oil. Okay, because if you put latex over top of oil, it'll peel, right? That's right, but you can put alkyd over latex. Okay. So many rules. So many rules. Of course, <laughs> the folks at Benjamin Moore can, uh, can help you out more Absolutely. about that. Absolutely. Uh, then, once you find out if you have a latex paint or an oil paint, you need to know what brush you, you, you yeah, buy. Yeah, it's important to use the proper brush.